Hey, it's Tyler checking in here at the Houston Championships here with Walton Robotics 2974 here with Marcel, AJ, and also Noah. And we're going to talk more about their robot here on Behind the Bumpers. This is your Peace Street Champions, and we got some cool stuff to talk about, some neat iterations as well. So, Marcel, what's going on in your hand right here? And uh, tell us about how this is impacting your robot. Well, um, we our intakes have been very, very successful this year. Uh, I, we attribute that specifically to our rapid ability to prototype. For the cargo intake specifically, we just were fortunate enough to have a laser cutter um, delivered to our school. And so we've been able to use that to rapidly prototype multiple different sets of intakes and test them to figure out what works best for this game. From MDF, we moved to metal on a water jet. And then from uh, aluminum, we moved to polycarbonate because we found that polycarbonate was much more flexible and made defense less impactful. In addition to that, we have back stops right here and surgical tubing that runs across our intake to hold and grip the ball together. One of the neat things about a robot's, robot is that the intakes actually rotate in and out of each other. So the cargo intake can rotate down, collect balls, while the hatch intake's up, and then once it goes back up, the hatch intake moves down. AJ, do you want to talk about the hatch intake? All right, let's take a look at that as well. So like the cargo intake, we went through many iterations um, with the hatch intake. So we started with just a simple aluminum design like this, and we tried to move to a more flexible design that allowed us to hit the wall, to hit the hatch harder. Um, and we we quickly found that that was not going to work because it, our driver did not like the fact that he could not hear the hatch intake hit the in, hit the hatch. So. We went back to the normal aluminum hatch intake because we just found that was more reliable and we had much more experience using that and practicing with it. So, yeah, no, I want to talk about the climber. So from the beginning, as a team, we decided to focus more on picking up and manipulating the game elements of the robot. So our climber was kind of our last focus. We tried to do a level three climb, but we found that it would take too much work, effort, time, and a lot of other changing things that worked to make it happen. So what we stuck with was we use our intake to push our robot up, and then we use this rack and pinion climber back here. Basically, you just have a motor that runs the uh, rack and pinion down, and once our front wheels are pushed up by our uh, cargo intake, this allows it to go up, slide forward, and it's a clean up. We've tried to develop multiple iterations of this because we always want to fix and adapt of what we've done, but we've realized that this design works and we like it, so. 2974 looking really strong here at the Houston Championship. Gentlemen, thank you for your time and good luck here at the rest of the competition. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.